Truck drivers pick up, transport, and drop off packages and freight. In this video, we will go over what truck drivers do, the job market for truck drivers, what kind of money they make, and the top paying state for truck drivers. Coming up. Hey everyone, Stephen Hack here with Career Watch, where we help you with your career search. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. And if you enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up to support this channel. The government breaks truck drivers into two different groups, delivery truck drivers and heavy truck drivers. Delivery truck drivers pick up, transport, and drop off packages within a local region or urban area. These drivers might work for UPS, FedEx, or Amazon delivering packages to a, in a certain city or a certain urban area. The trucks used are smaller, weighing less than 26,000 pounds. Many delivery truck drivers transport merchandise from distribution centers to businesses and households. The second group, heavy truck drivers, and this includes tractor trailer drivers, are long haul drivers. They operate trucks that exceed 26,000 pounds for the vehicles, passengers, and the cargo together. These drivers deliver goods over inner city routes that many times span several states. You do not need much education to become a delivery or a heavy truck driver. According to 2017 government data, about 16% of truck drivers do not have a high school degree but the, mass, the vast majority do. About 48% do have a high school degree or an equivalent, 24% have some college, and about 6% have an associate's degree, and 6% have a bachelor's degree. We're gonna go over light truck drivers first, and this is kind of the breakdown on who they tend to work for and what kind of job they tend to have. About 22% work as couriers and messengers, about 22% work in retail trade, 18% wholesale trade, and about 6% are self-employed and own their own companies. Of these different groups, couriers and messengers on average make the most with the average base salary before overtime or bonuses of around $50,000. The second highest paying industry is wholesale trade. And light truck drivers and wholesale trade make on average around 33 and retail trade around 26,000. Next, let's take a look at heavy truck drivers. About 45% of heavy truck drivers work in truck transportation. That makes a lot of sense. 11% work in wholesale trade, 7% manufacturing, 6% own their own companies, and 6% work in the construction industry working on trucks that assist with construction. Of these different groups, truck transportation tends to pay the most, around 46 k per year as a base salary, then wholesale trade around 45, construction around 44, and manufacturing about 43,000 per year. Notice that I didn't include how much self-employed light and heavy truck drivers tend to make. This is because the Department of Labor doesn't have that data. Maybe the IRS does, but the Department of Labor does not have that data. So I, I've looked at some forums and they can definitely make more than the average I shared above. Again, as I said earlier, about 6% of light truck drivers and 6% of heavy truck drivers are self-employed. So that's a route a truck driver could take if they were interested in making more money. Next, let's take a look at the national historical job market for truck drivers. The total number of employed light and heavy truck drivers has risen and fallen over the years. The blue line in this chart is heavy truck drivers and the orange line is light truck drivers. In the year 2000, there were about a million employed light truck drivers and 1.5 million employed heavy truck drivers. Both occupations were impacted by the financial crisis in the late 2000s but heavy truck drivers were impacted more, losing almost 200,000 jobs. But in general, from 1999 to 2019, heavy truck drivers have seen far more job growth than light truck drivers. In 2019, the government recorded about 1.9 million heavy truck drivers and around 900,000 light truck drivers. And during this time period from 1999 to 2019, heavy truck drivers collectively gained almost 400,000 jobs, while there were actually more light truck drivers in 1999 than there are today. The Department of Labor predicts that the number of truck driver jobs will rise over time, light and heavy truck drivers. As e-commerce grows, like the rise of Amazon, more and more light truck drivers will be needed for deliveries. And as the population of the United States grows, the economy will grow, and this will also increase the need for more heavy truck drivers. This is what the economists at the Department of Labor believe. One concern is that self-driving trucks will lead to a loss of many trucking jobs. Companies like Tesla and Waymo are working on self-driving trucks and cars. But even if the technology progresses to where 100% of trips are automated, it isn't clear whether truck drivers will lose their jobs. 
In the airline industry, in some cases 90% of flights are automated. Yet airlines have no interest in removing pilots from commercial flights. A crashing plane can kill thousands of people, and a crashing truck, although won't kill thousands, it can kill many people as well. No one can predict the future, we just will have to see what happens with self-driving cars and trucks. Do you think self-driving cars and trucks are coming soon? Let me know in the comments below. Next, let's take a look at what truck drivers earn. In 1999, the average national base salary for a light truck driver was around 24,000 and 32,000 for a heavy truck driver. By the year 2019, the average base salary for a light truck driver had risen to about $38,500 and for heavy truck drivers, about $47,000 per year. So wages rose for both occupations by about 15,000 from 1999 to 2019. Here is how the pay breaks down in 2019 based off percentiles. The starting salary of both occupations would be anywhere from the 0th to 25th percentile. So this would be between around 28,000 and up to 36 for heavy truck drivers and between 20 and 25,000 for light truck drivers as a starting salary. But one thing that is interesting is the top 10% of both occupations are about even. They both earn around 66,000 per year and go up from there. Finally, let's take a look at the highest paying state for light and heavy truck drivers. This was kind of surprising to me, but here we go. The best state for truck driver pay is the state of Alaska, also known as the final frontier. For light truck drivers, the average wage is around 47,000 per year. And for heavy truck drivers, the average wage is around 60,000 per year. And this is before any bonuses and overtime. What do you think of this occupation? Do you think self-driving trucks and self-driving cars are coming in the future? Or do you think it'll be a long time before this technology emerges? Thanks for watching the video and I will see you next time.